Welcome back to another episode of Event Hub's Talk and Block. I am John Catalyst Gray, and with me as always is John Velociraptor Guerrero. Hello, hello. Like, comment, subscribe. We don't have time. We got to get into Psycho this right it. now. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Psycho Crush it. Psycho Crush, uh, no, Street Fighter VI. We've got a new a new trailer. It's got gameplay. It's got characters. It's got mechanics. It's got everything. I'm feeling overwhelmed right now, but in a very good way. Yeah. John, how are you feeling this right now? This is the biggest information dump we, we've seen from Capcom in a long time. A long, 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 long time. And kind of yes. hit us out of nowhere. Uh, we, we thought this could happen anytime. They said the summertime. We weren't sure, you know, start of summer, middle. Uh, Capcom tends to be at the end sometimes. But, but John, yeah. I want to ask you right away, what was your first impression of like the graphics in the game? What do you think of this? I am very optimistic. I am excited. Excited. I haven't seen much at all that makes me go, oh crap. Mm -hmm. Everything is like good. They're learning the lessons that they should have been learning from the problems in Street Fighter V and such. They've been listening to the community. They've been watching our our show, <laughs> maybe. Well, they've been watching our site and our show for a long time. Yeah, so that's, I think that's so. nothing new. Uh, so, I'm yeah. I'm excited. I am. I mean, there's a lot to be seen, but I'm I'm optimistic. But how about you? I'm feeling most most the same way, but I can say some of the the early impressions, some of the early warnings uh, that I have right now. The, the graphic style is entering a little bit of an uncanny valley area where they're going for a very realistic but still anime kind of like feel of it, and, and uh, it does harken back to like when they first showed Street Fighter Five at Capcom Cup, but it, it did have some odd looks to it they needed some time to customize it adjust the shaders it's probably the same thing here i'm not overly worried about it but it is still a, such a departure from what we've expected in street fighters past where it's definitely more of an anime manga style that's what this franchise is known for and so going with the realism is it's, it's a little off-putting to me like it's a little bit oh boy i hope they get this yeah and and i like nothing i shouldn't say nothing not much jumped out to me as far as like graphical uh, um except for chun li which yeah. oh my my gosh, yeah. Capcom, if you have one character that you, you, you better get right when you're up, showing... Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss up Chun Did you learn the yeah. Did you learn the uh, the the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite lesson? Now it's not as bad. She still looks pretty good. She's got some cakes. I'll say that. But I will also say that it looks as though her legs don't actually belong with her like their her torso quite yet. There's something weird there. But yeah, are they backwards? Do we need to copy and paste them? And yeah, <laughs> yeah just I don't like know. Alex. It's <laughs> not it's not unforgivable, and I'm sure yeah. they will continue to refine things. It's a it looks overall yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, what do you think about like the instead of like the flowing ink that we've seen a lot? in the past now it's like paint splash okay so yeah on the website they they talk about that this is a celebration of this is not a verbatim quote but bear with me like a celebration of like the street culture music and other stuff like that literally making it street fighter so I get what they're going with this. So, you know, the graffiti and all that other kind of stuff. Like, literally outside of my house, someone has painted Akuma's uh, heaven symbol on a wall. That's awesome. You know, kind of thing. Like, uh, not when on my house, but like, you know, like somewhere nearby and stuff. And uh, But uh, it, it's it's this stuff is very pop culture-y. And so embracing that more, making this more of like not only the, 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 the in name, but in look and in feel. That is a good thing. That is a good thing to embrace what you are and to bring it to life. But they're, they're, they're going to struggle here to have it, you know, fully polished when the game is, you know, eight months, nine months away, somewhere around that timeline. Right. We got a 2023 release. It's going to be on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and also on Xbox Series X and S and on Steam PC. And uh, I don't think they've said crossplay or not, but you got to think that's more likely than not. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well no. yeah, that's a better way of saying it. Yeah, it better. It better be. And, and, and now, uh, just for people who haven't heard, PC is now Capcom's number one platform. They are not a console developer. They are PC developers. And then console comes secondary. And so usually with that, a lot of times they're like, okay, well, it works on PC. Let's go and make this crossplay work with everything else. So let's cross our fingers and hope that they get that route. But no guarantees, right? Let's uh, jump into the characters here. Mm. Now, we knew Ryu, we knew Luke, and we, for all intents and purposes, knew Chun-Li, but not officially. And then we didn't know there's a brand new character, Jamie, who is a drunken master who, if you have been following the Talkin' Block uh, show, we did like it. maybe a yeah. month ago, yep. wouldn't it be cool if Street yep. Fighter had a drunken fist kind of fighter? And here he is. I bet you Capcom saw that and was like, ah, how does, is is is, is a, uh, Event Hub's going through our garbage? What's going on uh, here? They, you know, like... <laughs> I've actually had direct staff members ping me and say, uh, how do you guys know this stuff? You know, kind of thing that we've picked up and, you know, we have our sources, but actually a lot of this stuff is just what we organically think would work in the game. Uh, yeah. We pay close attention to fighting games and we're like, this would be a great idea. And oftentimes Capcom's like, yeah, that's a great idea. We've already made it in the game. And, and then it shows up and we're like, oh, well, there we go. So there we go. Better review from event hubs. That's what that meant. <laughs> but Jamie looks really cool so yeah. far. So he's like the kind of the newest. And then there's 
also a, a sort of a tease of another character who, uh, I mean, it, she looks kind of like Ibuki from this one little still that we can see in the background. Yeah. But at the very end of the trailer, uh, Kimberly, I think her name is, mm -hmm. there's a character back on the, and it says new challenger, like scrolling. So, and they made a note about it, I think in the PlayStation blog. So she's probably on route. Yeah. And then there's also the character that, uh, I, I, what's her name? Lynn Pai or something like that. Lynn that Chun is yeah, fighting. Chun uh, she, she saves her in uh, uh, Street Fighter Five, And then she's in. Oh, that's the little girl. That's a, uh, yeah, she's in, um, she's a powerful little girl who, Maybe she, I don't know. She she's got something going on with her, so uh, mm -hmm. it might be interesting to see where she's at. Because something that uh, we haven't talked about just yet is it's very clear that all the characters are older. This definitely mm -hmm. takes place after Third Strike, based on how the characters look right now. They are all considerably older, especially Chen Li, which is one of the reasons she looks different. But again, uh, um, she looks good in some shots and does not look good in others. So yeah, this is hit and miss with that there. Um, but uh, hey, how about some gameplay? We got to see gameplay, which I, you know, you're saying earlier, like Capcom usually kind of gives bare minimum of stuff. And at the very end of the window that they announced, like this is not that at all. Mm -hmm. We've got to see so much. And one of the big things is gameplay. We see the characters, uh, we're, we're, like when we were first watching, it was like, oh, is that a V reversal? Is that an alpha counter and such? And trying to piece together, we saw a lot of things that we've seen in previous Street Fighters that have worked at least to an extent. And, uh, and indeed there is a whole drive system, which is what the user unique mechanic in this game is and it's basically a five part system made up of kind of those old mechanics so if we want to run through it really quickly yeah, there's it, it. Uh, there's drive impact which I liken to like the focus attack it gives you at least one hit of armor not sure if it's more and then uh, it's a crumpling or it, it's a guard breaking move that uh, if your opponent is in the corner and you land it they wall splat now I don't know if that means you just get a little extra damage from the wall splat or if it means you get a whole additional combo but that's interesting um, there's drive parry which uh, I, I guess the best way of thinking about it is Alex's V-Trigger 1 parry, where you just kind of hold it down, and you'll parry, but you'll also be uh, soaking up your, your meter, which I'll talk about here in a, a second if you do it that way. You can also perfect parry, where you do it kind of more like the third strike fashion, right as the move is landing on you, and that will give you, uh, I don't know what kind of bonuses, maybe an extra Christmas present or something like that, but some kind of an additional bonus. Uh, overdrive art is basically just an EX move, so it's like an enhanced version of any of your special moves. And then Drive Rush, I, it's sort of like FADC, I wanna say, yeah. but Drive Rush, you can cancel certain normals uh, and you just basically forward dash out of them. So uh, well, I, what I would assume that is, is for combo extension, and it also works off of a successful parry. And then finally, Drive Reversal is what you probably guess it is, V Reversal or Alpha Counter. But all of these are attached to the same meter. And if you, I believe, it starts filled and I think there's six bars to it from what we can see so far but if you use it all up and again these are both offensive and defensive tactics so you gotta you know think ahead if you use it all up you go into this like exhaustion state and we don't know what that means uh, maybe you lose a present next Christmas or something like that no some some kind of a penalty uh, and uh, and it's bad news bears for you so there's a lot of strategy here and it's a lot of what has worked in the past maybe with little tweaks here and there you know focus wasn't quite perfect but maybe this is sort of the adjustment that needed to happen for focus to be good oh and i do also want to note that on drive rush it doesn't look like you can use it to make say, uh unsafe specials safe which i think was like the main issue with fadc if anything you know so um this looks again it's early we don't know everything about it but it looks good in terms of potential for competitive play thoughtful play and um and, you know and strategy yeah and the, it's not thoughtful play until someone opens up the match with like you know wake up super at the 99 seconds and stuff like that and you're like okay well here we go uh and it actually does remind me of uh, alpha 3 quite a bit because you you would start that game with full super uh depending on you know and didn't matter what ism and stuff you played this is actually calling me back i think a good bit to uh, even capcom versus snk2 with uh, the ism system and stuff like not with how many different mechanics there are from the get-go this is unlike capcom um because usually when they first start a game they don't have this level of mechanics that they've announced and they're like yep here you go this is different, and they, they do seem like they're like, here, here's a more hardcore game from the start that's going to be more complex and more um, difficult to learn, but also to offset that, here's the simplified uh, control scheme, where if you want to you know, go into that, you can hit forward uh, or toward in, uh, um, the special move button, and you're going to throw a fireball. You know, it's like, okay, you know, that, that's an interesting way of doing it, um, the, the, but the complexity, unlike Street Fighter V, should be there from day one. That's what this looks like to me. 
and they have anti-air jabs, so I'm excited about that. No, I'm totally kidding. They better not have yeah, anti-air oh jabs. But. Uh, you know, uh, you never know what stuff is going to creep up like that, and that was an uh, in incidental thing for Street Fighter Five, where they did not intend that to be there, and it just showed up, and that was like the Alpha Games. Uh, man, history repeating itself, yeah. So, uh, uh, But, John, I, I want to talk to you about this next part. Like, you get to explore Metro City, and this looks as, as like Luke. You, you pick Luke, you run around, you kind of have, I want to call it an open world type thing, because it looks like you get to explore, you know, a city that's fairly limited, kind of reminding me of like Shenmue and other stuff like that. That's cool to me, but I was not impressed with the graphics in this mode at all. Not for a next generation game. It looks fairly, it looks kind of like PS4 to me, uh, PS3 level. And I'm like, hey, this is a brand new game. Why does this not look better yet? And I'm, I'm thinking that's going to come in, but how did it strike you? Um, I, I, that's not what I get a fighting game for. Now, I think it's good to have fleshed out single player content, and I think a lot of people will enjoy it. And of course, I'm going to explore it and see what it is and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's Luke or if it's just like a created character or like because he's got a hood on. Yeah. So maybe it's sort of like this this un, the, no face character that you can project yourself onto. Whatever it is. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, like Mortal Kombat's done this kind of a thing. Notably, I remember playing back in, a, I think it was... Deception, I want to say, it doesn't really matter. You could play a Shujinko and run around, and I, I spent some time doing that, but th really that's not what I get a fighting game for. So I think it could be very well done. I'm, I'm glad it's here rather than not, because, you know, again, if we think about the nightmare of Street Fighter V's launch, how there was almost no single-player content to be heard of uh, when the game rolled out, it's good that we're seeing these boxes checked early on, how good it will be. I don't think that that part of the game is going to make or break it, but I think it could make it better. So I hope that it comes out well. Yeah, I, I, I love the idea of exploring Metro City because that is the most iconic city in Street Fighter history. You have something there that people like and really enjoy, and you can put all sorts of homages like Final Fight in there. You actually could have a few beat em up type of, you know, portions of it and stuff like, and where you do, you know, you take control of Ryu, but it's a beat em up portion and you've got some of the Final Fight baddies coming after you and you get to knock them down. That's like, like Grand Blue. Uh, Grand Blue had that mode in there. It was so much Attack fun to play. And, yeah, and like yeah. there's so much you can do with this. I'm actually very excited about this mode because I pretty much play all the single player content that Street Fighter releases and I look forward to this stuff pretty heavily. So the, the fact that they're they're doing it this way, it intrigues me. I'm not, I'm not too excited about it because single player content with Capcom when they go outside of the mold has been hit or miss, but this one I am excited about potentially. I, I want to be hype about it, but I'm, I'm guarded. They're, they're sure to let us know that there's plenty of modes already in the works. They got the world tour mode. They got whatever this battle hub is, which looks like it's probably the online sort of lobbies and, and organization. Uh, they've got fighting ground, which is, I think, where training and, and, and more come in. But they're letting us know that this is most likely not going to be a repeat of Street Fighter V's launch. And, uh, you know, I've, I've only had a few moments here to kind of collect myself and look around, watch a couple of other people's, you know, re immediate reactions to it. Um, but right now it feels like there's some very good momentum this is exciting this is exactly what the street fighter crowd has been wanting for a while now no offense to street fighter 5 but we're ready to be done with it and here we got something new to chew on it's a really good it's a good day for street fighter fans yeah, man yeah. i'm really happy yeah um, and uh, um, they, they also said in the announcements they're bringing back all the previous modes is what they've said now I don't know if it's quote unquote all are all you know kind of thing where it's like okay you know versus training mode all that other kind of stuff is there but how about all those crazy features we saw on CFN is that coming back we don't know yet so there, there's there's quite a bit that's open ended there's there's a bunch of modes like you said that they have not described yet uh, Shadowloo is confirmed to have fallen now at this point in time like officially Capcom has said it Shadowloo's done so we are in the G timeline or maybe the Gil timeline I don't know exactly where we're at we are in a very interesting realm john what are your final thoughts here that, that you want to let the fans know i'm i'm looking forward to they better do something with g and that whole rose thing that they kind of hyped us up for here at the end of the story it's it's not a that's not a must but it's like that's that's pretty important given that what they've kind of ramped up right now um, I also want to give a quick shout out to my uh, my friend Vicious, who is in this game. Yeah, There's a real really time cool. commentary yeah. feature. They're really trying yeah. to to get that esports feel in there. So maybe you can have Vicious hyping up or, or talking about how bad you're playing. Um, <laughs> but I think that's really cool. Uh, oh, also Aru is is the other one, and I think there will be um, a handful of others. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's cool. Capcom is making moves. They are catching up. They are figuring their stuff out. I'm excited. Uh, ain't no way this could go poorly. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll actually, I'll do a rare thing here and give them an A plus for this one.
Uh, this is one of the biggest information drops we've ever seen. It's hype. It's pretty good. Maybe I should, with the graphics being a little, you know, off, maybe I should drop that down a little bit. But but I'm I'm all in on this one because I, I loved how Street Fighter V's graphics ended up, and they looked. Some games look a little janky at first, you know, when when you first get them out there. Uh, maybe just for the fact that they they've messed up an iconic lady in Chun Li. Maybe they should be dropped down to like an A minus on that one alone. Uh, but uh, but overall, again, I'm really thrilled about this one. I'm loving the way this is looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be back with a lot more stuff and thank you all yep. so much for tuning in we, we're gonna be back let us know more. let yeah. us know how you're all feeling yeah. if you guys have have issues and Comments. such and whatnot we'd love to hear about it but yeah this is a really good look thus far and uh you can be sure we'll be talking a lot more about street fighter 6 in the coming weeks and months so i'm excited mm -hmm.